In Microsoft OneNote, you can easily add and remove uh, table rows and table columns. So let's see how to do that. So first of all, let's make a table. I'm going to go into Insert. I'm going to use the Visual Table Maker, and I'm going to Insert Table. And you can see that I have a table right here. So now I got five rows and uh, five columns, as you can see. I got five columns, five rows right here. And let's say I want to add in some rows and columns. So if I want to add in a row, I can have actually simply go to the end right here and press the tab key, or I can go over here, press the enter key, and a new row is made. There's also other options. So I can also insert a column. So if I were to go over here, so let's say I'm going to uh, just have data one, for example, and this is going to be data two. So let's say I want to insert a column in between. In order to do that, I can simply select the table right here and go out to the layout options. And in the layout option, you can see that there are a bunch of settings. So I can select the whole table. I can select a column, for example, I can select that and select the column. I can click here, select the row or select the cell. So if I were to go here, I can select cell as you can see right here. So now I can also delete the table. So if I were to click this, then the table is deleted. Let me undo that by pressing Control Z. And over here, you can also see that there's delete column option. So if I were to go over here, click on delete columns. So you can see that that data one column actually disappeared. Let me undo that out, Control Z. And I can also go over here, delete the row. So let's say I want to delete this row uh, right here, this one. So I'm gonna keep my cursor over here and delete the row just like that. Let me press Control Z. And if I want to add a column, I can also do that, add a column or row. So over here, you can see that there's insert above. So I got my cursor selected over here. I'm going to press insert above and a row has been added uh, above the chosen column. I can also insert below. So I'm gonna go over here, insert below, and you can see that a row was added over here. I can also insert a column to the left. You can see that there's a new column right here. And if I were to select here, press insert right, and now everything has been inserted on the right. So that is how you can add and remove uh, table rows and columns inside of Microsoft OneNote. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.